The Freezer has been considered the worst tower in the game for a very long time. It had terrible DPS, hardly slowed down the enemies, it was a complete downgrade from the Electroshocker. The devs had leaked a rework, but that never came. It was looking like the Freezer was forgotten, and people have begun to lose hope. Was it gonna remain terrible forever? That changed on the 1st of April, 2023, when all of a sudden, the Freezer got a brand new gold skin. The stats of the Golden Freezer are absolutely insane. Before I continue, do me a favor. Hit that like button and subscribe to join the Blue Hair Mafia. It helps me out a lot and I really appreciate it. It costs 1,200 cash plays, which is a lot more expensive than the previous cost of 300 cash. Its stats make up for it though. At level 0, it deals 50 damage per hit, fires once every 2 seconds, has a range of 15, and enemies remain frozen for 1 second. This is a huge improvement from the base freezer, who used to deal 0 damage, fire once every 3 seconds, and freeze enemies for 0.75 seconds. The level 1 upgrade costs 500 cash. Its damage is improved to 65 and it now fires every 1.5 seconds. The level 2 upgrade costs 750 cash. The freeze time is increased to 2 seconds and its range is increased to 18. It also gains hidden detection. This makes it a really good counter against a shadow boss, which is a pretty common game ender. The increased freeze time also allows it to permanently freeze enemies, making it a perfect counter against a tank or other fast enemies. The level 3 upgrade costs 1500 cash. It gains the Frozen Gust ability, which pushes back and slows enemies by 15% for 5 seconds. This is an amazing ability and gives the Freezer some needed crowd control. Finally, the level 4 upkick costs 10,500 cash. Frozen enemies now lose 15% of their health every second that they are frozen. That makes a max level Freezer amazing against bulky enemies like the giant boss. But the insane part is that this effect works on any enemy, including the nuclear monster. The nuclear monster has an insane 1.5 million health. So the gradual freeze damage gives the Freezer a DPS of 225,000. I mean, it feels like some sort of prank. The highest DPS before was from the Engineer, and that was only 450 DPS. The Freezer is 500 times stronger than that. On top of that, the devs have stated that they're planning on removing the Freezer's placement cost, as they believe that the current cost is much too expensive for it to be used in the early game. I wouldn't be surprised to see this tower be used in a lot of future strategies, as its insane potential DPS is really unmatched by any other tower. I don't even think ranking it as an S tier tower would be enough, so I'm going to give it a special gold freezer rank. I think it's amazing that the freezer finally got a much needed buff, but I got a feeling it might be a bit overpowered. But you let me know what you think in the comments below. Wait, what day is it today? Oh my god.